Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal, Clerk Review, and Filing Your Notice of Appeal. When you logged in as a Clerk Filer, you see you'll have access to the Clerk Filing Options. One of those filing options is your Notice of Appeal. You may choose it from the drop-down, or you may choose it from the Quick Links. Either way will take you to the same place. When you get to the Notice of Appeal page, at the very top of the page, you must designate the Intended Reviewing Appellate Court. Currently, you have the options of the Second District Court of Appeal or the Florida Supreme Court. Then you choose what you are going to file. In this case, the appeal. Case Type, your Case Category, your case nature, and then you may enter in your lower tribunal information. You may do so by going through the drop-downs or searching for the available electronic data. Choose the county that is providing this notice of appeal, the division, which will be circuit criminal, your case number, and click on search. That will bring up the case in Lee County that has this search criteria and you can make a selection to enter this case information into that screen by choosing select. It will populate those fields, those required fields, and then you're free to move on to add your party information. Click on add party and then from your capacity or your role drop-down I suggest you enter the attorney on behalf of that appellant first. So we will choose what applies, in this case Florida attorney, and we will search the registered users since this attorney has filed the notice of appeal electronically. So you would type in the last name of the attorney do a search, find that attorney on this list, select the appropriate party, click on select, and it will populate all of the attorney information for you so that you do not need to re-enter this information. Then you would click on Save to Workbench and add another party. When you get back to that capacity screen or that role screen, choose from the drop down the appellant and then type in the name of the appellant. If you go down, you can see that you do have the ability to associate that appellant with the attorney that filed on behalf of that person. You make that association and you can save to the workbench and add another party. So now we'll type in the respondent information by choosing from the drop down the respondent and then typing in the information that would apply. Click on Save to Workbench and Show Parties. This will then present to you on this page all of your party information and now you're ready to attach your mandatory documents which in this case is your notice of appeal. So browse out to your computer where you have saved that notice of appeal, find the document, take a look at the document, make sure it's the document you wish to file. If you have optional documents you may attach op optional documents as well by choosing the correct category and the document type and then browsing out and finding that document and attaching it to the submission. Once you have all of your documents added you're then at the service list where you can add to the electronic service list 
recipients to receive service. You may select yourself if you wish to, but we'll add the party, the attorney, that we added who represents the appellant in this case. So we'll search the active users, do a search, find that information, choose on select, and then save. And that will add to the service list the attorney that represents the appellant in this case and provide service to that person. Next, you choose your payment option, which in this case no appellate fee has been tendered to the lower court. And again, you are ready now to save all and submit later or continue and submit all now. We'll continue and submit all now and send this notice of appeal off to the second district court of appeal takes us to our filing receipt confirmation page. You can see service has been provided of the notice of appeal that we have sent to the second district court of appeal. And if you go to your my filings page, you will see this listed on your filings page as a new case. Once that new case number has been assigned, the new case number will populate your court case number field as will show up on your My Cases page with that new case number. So that's filing your Notice of Appeal to the 2nd District Court of Appeal.